Therefore, that paragraph in the middle, therefore you must turn from the objective appearance of things to the subjective center of things, your consciousness. If you truly desire to know the cause of the phenomena of life and how to use this knowledge to realize your fondest dreams. That's a pretty important line if you think about it. How to use this knowledge to realize your fondest dreams. Isn't that why you're here in this program? Isn't that why I take the programs that I take and, and learn from Bob and, and different things? Because we want to learn how to use this knowledge to unleash who we are, to get the goals, the lifestyle, the dreams that we want. So we must not turn without, you must turn within the subjective center. In the midst of appearances or contradictions, antagonisms, and contrasts of your life, there is only one principle at work, only your consciousness operating. Difference does not consist of variety of substance, but in variety of arrangement of the same cause substance, your consciousness. Pretty damn good. I just think Neville, just uh, one of the most magnificent authors. All right, most important part, paragraph right here. This world moves with motiveless necessity. I hope you got that word right there. This world does not victimize. There is no God on a cloud raining down and unleashing hell in your life or heaven in your life, whatever it may be. There is nothing doing it. It's you internally, every time. For me, it's the same thing. Every time. Hard to take that responsibility sometimes. If, something, if a program works for 95% of people and it doesn't work for 2%, what's going on? It's almost radically always that person internally, something's going on that's not so good. If books help people and one person out of a thousand is like, that's bullshit, and this, that, the other thing, and complain about it and try and get a refund and, and go return the book because they said this thing doesn't work. It's always, always going on within that person. The subjective center, never the objective. Happens every time, okay? Same thing with uh, going in and doing things within your business, right? So you want to remember this as we're going forward. By this is meant that it has no motive of its own, but is under the necessity of manifesting your concept. So the universe isn't doing whatever it pleases. The universe is always responding to your concept. That's so cool. That's so great. Because now we can control everything that we want to control. Are we going to be able to make sure that all conditions and circumstances are exactly the way that we want them to be? Yes, in time. But things may happen throughout there that are like, oh, I didn't expect that one to happen, but that's good. Necessity of manifesting your concept, which is the arrangement of your mind. And your mind is always arranged in the image of all you believe and consent to is true. Everyone still with me here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to write something down here. I encourage you to keep this in your notes and write it down with me. I can um, decrease the font size, that'd be great. I don't know if I can. All right, we'll just try it out. Concept of yourself equals the arrangement of your mind. everyone's got that concept of yourself equals it's the arrangement of your mind and your mind is arranged in what you believe and consent to is true <clears throat> Could you write that down? I'll wait a second. 
concept of yourself is the arrangement of your mind and the arrangement of your mind is what you believe and consent to is true for yourself in your world. Oops. Let me uh, go back here. Clicked. Can add a little tag parentheses underneath that. Your mind is arranged in what you believe and consent to as true about yourself and your world. 